I am Sudesh Gadankar. Today I am teaching you design of machine element two. In that one, anti friction bearing. This is the second problem. Select a suitable ball bearing required to be mounted on the shaft diameter 45 mm. 45 mm diameter is given to withstand a radial load 6 kN. Radial load 6 kN is given and thrust load 3 kN. That is in terms of uh, Newton I have converted at a rated speed of 300 rpm n is given small n is given 300 rpm the bearing works for 50 hours per week okay it is in terms of week therefore you have to go for 15 to uh, 52 in in a year we have 52 weeks for three years assuming shock load this is the data they are given it the shock load is nothing but 1.25 this is the life we are going to find out 50 hours 50 into 52 into 3 years 60 into 300 this is the 60 will be common the n value is given here 300 into 10 raise to 6 in terms of converting into million revolution this is the answer we are obtained it 140.4 million revolution life we are obtained it the first trial first trial select the 45 bc 0 to this is the diameter series 2 I have selected it you have to refer the table 21.60 page number 24.85 this is a series where we are going to obtain static capacity 21600 Newton and dynamic capacity 33200 Newton and this obtain will uh, this will these values are obtained in from the data and book Lingaya data and book now you have to find out the step 1 FA divided by C naught thrust divided by static capacity you will get this value again you have to refer the table 24.51 page number 24.72 the nearest value is 0 0.11 for this value the nearest value is here there you have to select e value e value is 0 0.30 next step fa divided by fr thrust divided by radial load substitute the value you will get 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is greater than this value again you have to refer the table 24.51 page number 24.72 the nearest value for this one you have to select x and y value after finding x and y value you have to find out the equivalent load equivalent load this is the formula and ks is nothing but 1.25 because they are given at a shock load this is not the steady load it is a shock load okay it is a shock load substitute the values here substitute the values x y value and fr and fa value and you will get this value one more formula p is equal to fr into ks you will get this bound among these two you have to select the larger one this is the larger you have to select it and again you have to go for finding the life life of the bearing this is the formula l is equal to c divided by p raised to 3 you will obtain is 40.88 million revolution which is l is less than l required the obtained is 140 we are obtained is the first value is 140.4 million revolution now obtained is 40.88 which is lesser than this value therefore the bearing is rejected again you have to go for trial 2 in the trial 2 you have to select the 03 series 45 bc 03 series here again you have to refer the table 21.60 page number 24.85 here you have to find out the static capacity and dynamic capacity from the data handbook step 1 repeat the step fa by f c naught and refer the table in the table the obtained value should be nearest to 0 0.08 nearest value you have to select and the e will be 0 0.28 again fa by fr 0 0.5 which is lesser than this value and you have to find out x and y value refer the table and page number nearest to this one you have to find out x and y value after getting x and y value substitute in equivalent load this ks is equal to 1.25 here it is a light load not steady load it is a light load substitute the value you will obtain this value one more p is obtained this value you have to select among these two you have to select the bigger one 
again you have to find out the life this is the formula for finding the life now 145.85 million revolution it is obtained earlier it was 140.4 which is smaller than the this part therefore the bearing is selected mention the number diameter and b value in this way you have to solve the problem here it is a light shock it is a light shock I am Santosh Gangkar thank you very much